Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome I'm so glad you're here I'm Callie and today's video is going to be all about how to make your house smell amazing so I am super aware of how my house smells I really wanted to smell fresh and inviting for guests so these are just a few ways that I have found to make my house smell really great and inviting and I wanted to share them with you guys so these are not things that I do all at once I don't really want my house to have like an overpowering smell and there just be like different smells coming from different directions I don't want that. These are just a few things that I do to keep my house smelling fresh and I'll do one of these things, one or two of these things when I know I have a guest coming over. A few of them I do on a daily basis to keep my house smelling fresh and I just wanted to share them with you guys. It's just a few little fun tips and tricks of how I keep my house smelling good. I do also have a cat so I want my house to not smell like cat. I know that that can kind of be tricky with animals and pets so I like to have different ways to make my house smell fresh even with pets and not just overpower or mask the smell I just really want to kind of get rid of it and really just make my house smell inviting for guests and for us as my family on a daily basis also I did a video just like this a few years ago but I have updated a few of the things that I do so you can definitely check that video out as well I'll link it up above and I'll link it down in the description as well but without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right, so first things first, I'm going to make my own little like Febreze spray. I'm gonna take this Glamorous Wash in the scent entitled, it's by Tyler. You can get it off of Amazon. It is a little bit expensive, but again, I just use it to make this spray and I will also wash my sheets with it once a week as well. I'll put a little bit down in an empty spray bottle and fill the rest up with water and then I give it a good shake and then I am ready to kind of go around and spray any of the fabric items in my home that cannot be thrown in the washing machine. So when I tell you guys that this stuff smells heavenly, I am not kidding. Everyone that comes over is like, wow, what is that smell? And I attribute it to this because I use this pretty much every single time right before someone comes over just to kind of freshen up any of my fabric items that might be holding a smell that can't go in the washing machine. It smells so good and it lasts, oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. I will even do my little plants around my house with it. And then again, I will just throw my sheets in once a week with some of this wash as well. You can also just kind of put just a little bit down in your washing machine with some of your regular laundry detergent and it comes out smelling so divine. I can't even explain how good this stuff smells. It is heavenly. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is use my wax warmer. I got this one from Walmart as well as the wax melts. I love the Better Homes and Garden wax melts from Walmart, but I also really like to keep my candles that don't have enough wax in them to light anymore. I will pop those into my freezer and once they are frozen, I will get them back out and the wax will just pop right out of there and I'll keep the remaining wax to use in my wax warmers. I have a wax warmer by the front door, in my kitchen, and in my powder room as a nightlight. And I just love sticking new scents in there. It's so much fun. And then another thing I like to do in my living room is use this Glade carpet refresher. I know the Arm & Hammer has one as well, but I like the Glade one a little bit better. And I'll just go around and vacuum my rug really slowly just to make sure I get all the powder up. And I'll go one way first and then I'll go back the opposite direction the second time just to make sure that I get all of it up. But it makes my rugs smell amazing. I'll also use it on the carpet in the areas we have carpet in my home. And then another Better Homes and Gardens find. These candles are amazing. They have one that's like a dupe for the anthropology. I think it's red citrus and something. I can't remember the rest of it. I'll link it down below. But they have amazing candles at Walmart and I love them. They're, this one's a two wick, but it puts off so much scent. It's amazing. I've actually stopped buying candles from Bath & Body Works here lately because I go to Walmart so much more often. 
to where their candles are so comparable that I love them. They really are a great value, no pun intended. This Apple Valley went in our bedroom. It smells so good. And then another thing that I like to do is to change out my Glade plugins. I buy the refills at Sam's Club because it's such a great deal. And I just love to put these near my front door or my back door, anywhere someone is gonna come in. I love to just have these going all the time. And then for places where I don't have an electrical outlet, I love to use these car vent clips and just put them into the vent in the room. So like I'll put one in my closet in the vent because I don't have an electrical outlet in there. And I'll also put it by our back door where our shoe rack is because I don't have an electrical outlet there either. But it puts off so much scent anytime the air or the heat runs and it's such a great way to have a scent in a room where you don't have an electrical outlet. Another great find at Walmart was this scented shower liner. They had this eucalyptus scent as well as a jasmine and it was in the clearance section for $7. Every time we take a shower, this puts off so much scent. It smells so good. And it was just a really great Walmart find and a great way to make your bathroom smell fresh every time you take a shower. Another way to keep your bathroom smelling fresh or anywhere that you have a trash can really is to put a dryer sheet underneath your trash bag in the trash can. So I will just grab my favorite scented dryer sheet and I will just put it in the very bottom of my trash can. And then I use Walmart grocery bags as my trash bags. I don't get fancy with it, but I'll just put it underneath the trash bag and it keeps my bathroom smelling so fresh. I also do it in the kitchen with our trash in there as well. So the first thing that I like to do is to use these Lysol click gels. I use them in the rim of my toilet bowl and it just keeps it smelling fresh in between cleanings. I also use a wax warmer in my bathroom as well. And then I really love these little potpourri bags from Kirkland's. You can get them at small boutiques and stuff too, but I always get them from Kirkland's. And I just put them in this little basket behind my toilet paper and it keeps my bathroom smelling so fresh and then as far as sprays for the bathroom, because you know, sometimes you need just an immediate spritz in the bathroom. I love the sprays from Bath & Body Works. They put off a really great scent and it's not like they're masking an odor. It kind of just like gets rid of it completely. They smell so good and they have so many great choices at Bath & Body Works for these room sprays. I highly recommend them. I keep them in the bathroom. I keep them in my car. I keep them in our master bedroom. They're just really, really great. I also like taking them on vacation as well. If you've ever been in a hotel room that just smelled like a little bit musty or if you've ever rented a house or a condo and it just smelled a little bit like musty, like it hadn't been rented for a while when you get there, these room sprays are perfect for that. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you wanna know a little bit more about my channel, I do a lot of home decor, a lot of decorating, a lot of cleaning, just anything to make a house a cozy home is what my channel is all about. And I really appreciate you watching this video today. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.